In today's video, we're doing crispy chicken wings on a pit barrel cooker. Tavern style? Hey, this is Ricer from Dead Broke Barbecue, Wisconsin, and welcome back to the channel. But if you're new here, think about subscribing because we try to help you enhance and amplify your backyard barbecue fun. In today's video, I'm doing some crispy chicken wings on the pit barrel cooker. And the reason why I call them tavern style is because we all go to the tavern and get some wings and they just deep fry them. But in this recipe, I'm taking those wings, throwing them in some canola oil, and putting them right on the grate. So put your beer chips away, Sam, because today you're cooking bar wings at home. The seasoning that we're gonna use to get those chicken wings nice and crispy on the pit barrel cooker, we're gonna use a half a cup of flour, a half a cup of baking soda, quarter cup of Cosmos Q's Dirty Bird, and about three teaspoons of each kosher salt, black pepper, and after we put our chicken in, we're gonna add some canola oil to give that a little bit of a coating. Take your bag, take your seasonings, close her up, shake her up good, you want it nice and mixed. And after you got it mixed up real well, go ahead, start dropping in your chicken wings. And this is a two gallon bag. We're doing five pounds of chicken wings, so we need a two gallon bag to make this work. Close her up and give her a shake and bake. These, these bags suck at closing, there we go. Shake them around, get them all nice and coated. We took these chickens out of the fridge about a half an hour before we started setting up our grill because we want this skin to start to dry out a little bit so they can get really nice and crispy. We're not gonna fill up our whole charcoal basket on the pit barrel this time because these wings are gonna cook pretty quick. So let's do about a half. Just get them lined up something like this and then we're gonna go ahead, when our chimney's ready, pour it right in the center. Take your charcoal basket and go ahead and put it right in the pit barrel. Place it right in the center. Now this chimney's made by pit barrel and what I did is I actually took lit charcoal from my last cook that I just finished and threw some new ones on top. You don't really probably need a full chimney huh? to do this cook, but hey, why let charcoal go to waste? I threw some new ones on top, we'll give her a couple minutes to start ashing over. We'll dump them in the center. That's a good little tip, huh? These coals are ashed over. Now we're gonna dump them in the pit barrel and we're gonna get this thing rolling. All right, so now put in your grate. Put our re-rod in. Close up the lid and let's give her about five minutes. And then we're gonna come out here, clean off the grill grate and start putting our chicken on. And now we're gonna take a quarter cup of canola oil and add them to our chicken. That'll give them a little bit of grease on that outside. I think it helps to fry them a little bit. Dump it in, they're nice and coated. Shake them around a little bit. These wings are nice and coated up. They're ready to get on the grill. Let's clean off the grate. So let's start getting our wings on. You wanna put them on so they all look the same. So we have the outside of the wing going on first. Now obviously with the lid off, this pit barrel is gonna get pretty hot pretty quick. So you wanna go as fast as you can. Try to leave some gaps in between them so you get that airflow. We're gonna put our re-rod in. Put the lid on and set the timer for 30 minutes. There's nothing better than standing outside, smelling the sweet aroma of barbecue and having a beer. Listening to nature, frogs and birds. Give yourself a break and enjoy life a little bit. Start barbecuing. Okay, it's been 30 minutes. Let's check these out. They're coming along okay, but I'm gonna pull one of these rods out to get the temperature up a little bit. In 30 minutes, typically they're a little browner. So let's pull one out. This will help the airflow because we're leaving these holes open a little bit more. But I'm still going to flip them. I feel like the kernel right now making extra crispy. Now that I have them flipped, I'm going to take a saucepan, stick of butter, some Frank's Red Hot, and some Sweet Baby Ray's Sweet and Spicy. And we're going to mix it together and put it right on the lid of the pit barrel and let it warm up. Take your saucepan, set it on the lid, Add the stick of butter and let that start to melt. Stir it around a little bit, start coating the pan. I'm going to use Sweet Baby Ray's, but you can use any type of barbecue sauce that you want. Stir up some more, then throw in some Frank's Red Hot Sauce to the flavor that you like. We'll start with this. And you're going to continue to want to mix this as it heats up. And the last thing I like to do as this butter starts to melt up, I like to throw a little bit of my rub right in there. Keep on stirring. 
Our sauce is all cooked up and it's ready for some wings. There went our timer, let's take it off and let's check these out. Starting to show a little color. Now these wings are done, but they're not quite to the color that I want them to. I kind of like that char, but we're gonna go ahead, throw them in some sauce, and then we're gonna get them back on here to caramelize them up a little bit and ready to serve. Okay, so we're gonna take our sauce and dump it in this bowl. I always leave a little in the pan for a little bit of dipping sauce later. Take your wings and throw them right in the bowl. And boy, are they sizzling. And they smell delicious. I'm also gonna take out this other re-rod and start flipping. We got these all mixed up well. Now let's put them back on. We're gonna put them on with the skin down and we're gonna crisp these up, but good. They smell incredible. Get the last one on there and we're bringing up the heat. So set yourself a timer for about 10 minutes and crisp up this skin. Okay, so our 10 minutes are up on this side. Let's flip them over. Now I did put the lid back on for a little bit and now we're starting to get that char that the Dead Broke Barbecue likes. Starting to crisp up a little bit. A little hotter on this side, it looks like. Now we're gonna give them about five minutes on this side and we're gonna call these done. Now these wings are pushing about 200 degrees, but in our household, we want a clean bone and no bloody veins. Typically, you end up overcooking wings if you want that crispy skin. These wings are done and they're ready to serve. Let's get them inside, plate them up, start eating. Okay, so we're all done. Let's leave out the rods, put the lid on, and that'll help burn off the debris on the grate. So the next time you cook, you don't have so much to clean. Here's a summary for our crispy chicken wings. Number one, mix up the ingredients. A half a cup of flour, a half a cup of baking soda, a quarter cup of your favorite rub, two teaspoons of kosher salt and black pepper, and put it all in a two gallon bag and shake it up. Then take a half full charcoal basket, put it in the pit barrel cooker and light it up. Take a half a cup of canola oil, put it in the bag and shake it up and place the wings all in the same direction. Cook those chicken wings for 30 minutes aside. In a large bowl, put those wings in there and coat them up with your favorite sauce and put them back in that pit barrel cooker for about five to ten minutes aside. Okay so let's dig into these wings. I can tell you right now they're crispy. Pull her open. Not bad, not bad. Tasty, nice clean bone. Let's dip her in the sauce a little bit. Bones pop right out. They're done. If anything I would do different is I'd let off the salt a little bit. The last time I cooked these I didn't have enough salt. This time maybe a little too much salt, but they're nice and spicy and sweet. We're on the edge of having a phenomenal recipe here. Might have to tweak it a little bit, but I like them. I have another one. It ain't good barbecue if you ain't getting a little messy. Try this recipe. I think you'll enjoy it. I really like the crispy crunch on the outside. It's a true tavern wing, but it's not deep fried. It's cooked right on your grill. Nobody wants a bloody bone or a bloody vein. So feel free to cook them a little bit past that 175 degrees. Huh? I push these up to 200, honestly. And they're still tender and juicy and tasty. We're gonna make these again the same way. I'm just gonna cut back on the salt because this is gonna be a family favorite, guaranteed. Better try some ranch. All right, it's time to read off a couple comments from last week's video. Phil from Daddy Cook says, Ricer, this was a solid chicken recipe and cooking technique. You did a great job filming and editing this video as well. Well, thanks, Phil. I really appreciate it coming from a YouTube veteran like yourself. And every single one of you watching this video needs to go over and check out Daddy Cooks. The guy has a video on everything. Plus, he's humorous and he's a lot of fun. Phil, I'm pretty sure you've been on YouTube for so long that when you first started uploading videos, you were using dial-up. Brian from Mad Horse Barbecue says, and again, awesome video and how-to. Very easy to follow along with, but skull, sorry, couldn't help myself. Thanks a lot, Mad Horse, I really appreciate it. And I'll tell you, Brian is downloading at least two videos a week. I don't know where this guy has the time to cook and edit and have a regular day job. It's very hard to be a Minnesota Viking fan, but go Pack Go. And with that being said, rest in peace, Bart Star. You are one of my heroes. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and become a subscriber. Join the Dead Broke Barbecue family. Leave a comment below and crush that notification bell because you don't want to miss our next video. It's Memorial Day weekend and I just want to give a big shout out to all you veterans. Thank you so much for everything that you've done for this great and wonderful country. We appreciate it and God bless America. This is the pit barrel chimney. 